Hey guys and welcome to something a little different today. I'm going to be giving you guys my thoughts on the match yesterday. For those of you who don't know, I do in fact support the Italian national side. So it was Italy versus Belgium. Italy came away with a 2-0 uh, result. And as we know, EA keep releasing these international man of the match cards. So I thought I'd pick out uh, Graziano Pella. And I don't know why he got it. They could have given it to Bonucci, Giacarini. I don't know what was going on with that. So before we get into it, if you are needing ultimate team coins, head over to FIFAUltimateTeamCoins.com. Links below in the description. Use the code Fuji, get yourself a discount, or if you are wishing to purchase games, head over to G2A and also use the code Fuji. So I was a little confused to see EA give the man of the match to Pella. I know he got the goal, which secured the win for Italy, but a couple of other players deserved it over him. Like, he had an average game. He missed a sitter with his head, and for his standards, being a target man, it should have gone in. And last year, uh, for Southampton, actually, he didn't have the greatest of seasons at all. But Giacolini, in my opinion, deserved it. He was working hard, and that goal, the link-up, Bonucci over the top. What a pass, and a lovely uh, first time touch and just finish really happy for him so yeah I, I decided to go and pick up uh, Pella just to have some fun really 68,000 coins I paid seven games seven goals he's a strict target man and that's what you're going to expect from the guy good hold up play decent at heading and he attacks the ball quite well but his pace is such an issue in my opinion and I wouldn't advise to go over the top with him like one two and put it through although I did do that and I scored from it he's just not that kind of player so if you get yourself frustrated and you try and maybe rush your play it's just not going to work so if you're focused on getting the ball down the line with this formation and crossing it in you're going to get more out of Pella but to go through the team we have Joe Hart in the net we've got DeMarco of course, Ramos, Smalling, and also Adesilio. And then we have uh, Bonaventura that I decided to pick up. First time using him, and I'm definitely keeping him in, in, uh, in the club and, and seeing if I can play him left forward in the side because I, th I thought it was great. Then we've got Herrera in the midfield with Busquets and also Navas for the crossing and pace. And then Mane, I just had to make up for the 57 pace which Bella had. And Mane is just fantastic. Really like him. I didn't, I didn't really like his informs too much but in that center forward position he was uh, it was awesome so with the game i just want to give you my thoughts on it like belgium although they had the chances to score lukaku should have put um, an opportunity away but like their big stars hazard as we know he hasn't really been having the greatest of games even for chelsea but with um uh, with De Bruyne, he was sloppy. A couple of passes, he he, would, he just gave away. And overall, I didn't feel that he had an impact in the game. But you've got to give credit to Italy. They set out strong. And I love the fact that they're so defensive. They've always been like that. And they do pride themselves on, on just their overall like strength at the back. And Chiellini had a good game. Bonucci also. But... Definitely the star player was Giacolini in my opinion. He was just working really, really hard. And it was just a good game. And and honestly, if they were a little bit more clinical, they could have made it 3-4-0. So I'm really looking forward to what Italy can do in this uh, tournament. And let me know in the comment section who you support and are your, and your team's uh, doing well. But I think we're ready to get into some of the clips just to show you what Pella is like in action. And yeah, let's get into it. So as expected, Pella is a strict target man. And if you're wanting him to run in behind, it's just not going to work. So my advice to you guys is when you're bringing in someone like like this is to specifically build the team around him otherwise like i said it's just not going to work and with him like some of his qualities holding up the play very very good at he's strong yes he's slow but he has some nice flicks and just overall good link up play in general and with the side like i don't know what it is about crossing on this game but i had so much fun doing it with mario gomez i remember building the same sort of team with a 4-4-1-1 formation and i just was bombing it down the line crossing it in and just allowing pella to get into good positions in the box and he attacks it well and overall I had some enjoyment with the card long shots as well general finishing with the card he's good but that 57 pace is going to put a lot of people off but I quite like him I definitely don't think that he should have got them out of the match kind of upset that Bonucci didn't get it otherwise I would have 100% built a really really good team around Bonucci and also a Giacolini but what can you do like is giving it they've given it to Pella and not many people are going to want to bring him into a side and he's quite expensive like 60,000 coins he was going for 70k at one point definitely wouldn't be spending that much maybe 30k at most but even then you're like restricted on what you can do with him i, I wouldn't advise maybe maybe you could play him as like um uh two up top formations for someone to play off him could work well but my advice is to get him right in the center and bring in decent wingers but guys if you have enjoyed drop a like like i said let me know who you're supporting in the euros and yeah i'll see you on my next video team out peace